As we know, the Abandoned Torch subreddit is a place full of Darwinistic garbage. I've already seen Torn and its members repeatedly, so what could be warning the video rant of the day? Why, this little comment by our favorite user, Jim Flars, that proves why there are problems under themselves. Hello, hello. They come in here to show up and try to seek attention. We might bleak out of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't, Jeff Fars. You bash on games simply for having to see you in it at all. Seriously, claims that the likes of Checkmark Games just want attention, despite that they allow support from others, is arrogance at its finest. Elitism, where they prove they don't want to hear others' opinion. <laughs> Wait, what the. So I see another comment by Jim Fars that then did. If it, they think that it, it depends what such a simple game that they can make a clone with their skill level. that none of them going to complain about it, even how Jim Fars, the same guy who claims to be the master of the Nintendo War series, while shunning spiritual successor attempts, saying things like how MG toning infantry failing to finish off of artillery from each without some clear mechanics and bomb and it's dumb, and bashing on the for my web's map makers thoughtlessly, he's likely to consider himself the authority on calling anybody arrogant. Oh no, that would be too simple. What makes this the reason for the video's rant is why the statement calling the likes of Checkmark Games uh, is arrogant is its own conceit. Game development isn't going to be easy. Don't believe me? Take a look at my auto intern hack for Game Reward Tree. I had to account for various points for making the auto intern check alone. I had to make sure that the check would have been cleared by not only having all units having been moved like it in the Fire Emblem series, but also a lack of viable deployment ability. And Game Boy Wars pretty complicates the whole thing with the reserves mechanic that it uses for campaign mode, which meant that I had to use a generally unused fight to handle flags that generally work with the reserves mechanic, as well as know when the fight is even used in the first place. And that's just a check alone, because Game Boy Wars 3 also conveniently does the day limit check before handling any other map ending conditions. Which meant that I had to stop the auto intern from happening if a map ending condition that isn't time was met. Oh, and also, Game Boy Watch 3 doesn't even have the loading command set in the move flag for any cargo of the unit being loaded. Another thing to address in the whole mess, one would have, that would otherwise be a minor bug. You see how even when you handle such a seemingly simplistic addition, you have to account for any problems that may arise. Add to it that there's a lot that goes into the game, and you can see that inevitably, inevitably, any game designer would need support to get things done sometime this century. That's even if they don't consider providing the level of tender loving care you would see from a game that has cases of the dev team thinks of everything, such as the Cricket Jam business in Super Mario RPG. That's what pe the people who still their spiritual successor and look for, not mere attention. I can certainly argue this for Checkmark Games, who, unlike the developers of Wargroove, actually do care to listen. While Checkmark Games is still cautious about nerfing, that's a, fall, that's a far cry better than the Wargroove's developers' close-minded arrogance of refusing to share a demo for playtesting, claiming their bounds somehow already clicked despite clear red flags, and especially being arbitrary about who they deem toxic. Checkmark Games, by contrast, definitely comes around at times, making it clear that yes, they understand what the likes of the Advanced Wars subreddit doesn't. But people should get to, as Mario Mastar put it, and I've been wanting to myself, share ideas and build up concepts together. Instead, the Advanced Wars subreddit wants to indulge in this scummy behavior such as feeding trolls and mocking lost induced murder victims, making it clear they're not to be trusted. Similar to the general opposite sex, who is only now speaking out against the sexism when it's freaking convenient. And I'm asking those opportunities this. 
where were you when I did things like tear the cross assault incident? Don't even try to call me a hypocrite on that front for not calling it out sooner than mid-2014, because I didn't get to know this in the first place. I've been against both chauvinism and the fighting game community's arrogance from the start, and I actually did rain against the cross assault incident the moment I saw that garbage. You, on the other hand, don't care to have a deep enough understanding of why I would do the YKTTW of savvy guy energetic girl to begin with. You're just reaping what you sow in your favoritism of meatheads, and don't even try to claim to have been idiots in your wanting bliss, because I have hated that problem from the start, simply because being brain dead is not free will! And to the Advanced Wars subreddit, do you think you can silence me so that you can go back to bashing on the likes of the Advanced Wars map makers? As mindlessly as you do in your own shallow favoritism of Days of Rune, think again. I'll keep calling you out as long as you pull your brand of tyranny. You deserve it, and you keep proving it by trying to shackle the notion of creativity. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to leave in the description a cryptogram that I came up with in mid-September 2016. Just to prove a point, it shouldn't be too hard to decipher knowing you with fans for subreddit.